Welcome back to the local footy show. Well, of course, the football world lost a legend recently with the passing of the great Bob Davis. And, Benny, we were privileged to be uh, a guest of Bob's um, not all that long ago when we were putting some material together for a DVD about the ANFC Carnival. Very nice man. And uh, for him to uh, extend his invitation into his home for us to go down there and talk to him about that ANFC Carnival was sensational and it was great to speak with him and get some of his influence. Very nice man and, of course, uh, did have a wealth of football knowledge and stories. This is our little tribute to the great Bob Davis. There were certain players in each team who were designated the people to knock out the good players, yeah. You would have been on the receiving end. Oh, time. well, it happened uh, even in, uh, in Ballarat. A fellow called Tommy Brudenell who won the stall gift. Tommy Brudenall knocked me out when I first started to play for Golden Point. My dad ran my dad ran 150 yards onto the ground and when he got there, he was that exhausted he couldn't do anything at all. And they said, don't hit that Davis anymore, his father will come out and get you, you know. That, so that, that even happened before I got down to, uh, to, to Geelong. As a young fellow, I lived in Ballarat and uh, I lived in Golden Point and all my mother's family, they were the, they were being too silly, they were the champions of Golden Point, they were the Joneses, and there was about four of them, and they all were world beaters, yeah, at, at football there, you know, it was marvellous. So you would have, could have been a South player? Well, I wanted to be, we followed South from 1933, when they won the flag, I, I think that I always wanted to play with South, but anyway, it didn't happen. And it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me, to be truthful, because Geelong, I was fortunate enough to come down at a good time when they had a real, when they built a real team. The next two years we won it, 51 and 52, and then in 53 we had the best team that we've ever had here in Geelong. And we won, I think, well, we drew one and then won 26 in a row. And then Collingwood beat us with about six games to go. Not only did they beat us then, then they gave us a terrible hiding in the, uh, in the, I don't know, we played them another twice anyway. And they beat us both times. You must have travelled a few kilometres up that, uh, that Geelong Highway up to Channel 7 and back, eh? Oh, well, yes. Yeah, I, was, I was very lucky that uh, Louie and Jack uh, picked me up. Casey, Casey declared he was actually going to be... I was actually Casey. We used to do the league teams on the radio on 3DB. And then uh, when we decided... Or well, he decided that he would do the same thing on the television, put the league teams on the television. He was going to do it with Louis and Jack. Then he was made manager of Channel 7. And I think they thought, we can't have the manager on with those other two idiots. We'll get, we'll get to say, I got the job. And I mean, it, it was, it, well, the world of sport and league teams just became a, a phenomenon. The three of us got on very well together. There was no, and I mean Jack would have, no matter what you said, Jack would have a story about it and Louis would put in his smart remarks and I always had a joke or two to tell about, mm. you know. I don't think that I've ever had a real job in my life. I played football until I finished and then I sort of if, well, if you call being on the telly a real job, which it, I mean, for me, it, it, it wasn't. I, I certainly had to be there and be there on time and things like that. But as far as, you know, as far as sort of having to go to get up and go to work and go down, no, nothing like that. I've never, I've never had to, to do that. I mean, I had, we had a motel. Bob, do you think that the young blokes playing footy today, as it's now AFL footy, do you reckon they have as much fun as you blokes did? It's a terribly serious business now, isn't it? I mean, mm. 
it is in fact a genuine business. When I played, it was a game. The first couple of years while I lived in Ballarat, a fellow called Len Menzies, who owned the cream and green cabs in Ballarat, he used to come pick me up. If we played in Melbourne at half past ten, this is unbelievable, at half past ten, and we'd go to Bacchus Marsh and we'd call in at the hotel and I'd have a free course meal and then go to the grounds and play. And if we came to Geelong, we used to leave at 11 and we'd have a, we'd have a meal at the ground. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that they like you do, doing that too much nowadays, <laughs> having a, having a three-course meal, you know. It's been a most exciting and glamorous and fulfilling career that you could ever want. And just one of those things that happened. I was lucky I was born into a into a family of footballers, or the Joneses, as I said before. They were all good footballers, and, and uh, I t took it off from me mum, who could run like a demon. Yeah, it was good. It was good.